Hey everybody, it's Lee here. Welcome to another video of mine. In this one, I'm going to be doing a overview video for the Nice Hash Multi Miner. So I was reading about this uh, miner just a few days ago on the Crypto Mining blog, and um, I thought I'd download it last night, uh, installed it, and um, basically take a look at it. Uh, overall, I'm really quite impressed with the actual product itself. It's it's quite simple, but it's kind of a, an all-inclusive miner and it has kind of all the good elements that you would want from a miner. Uh, it's got a simple interface, it mines on uh, multiple algorithms and it also uh, supports multiple devices as well. So this miner is a really good overall package so that's why I wanted to share it with you in this video. Um, what I'll do is I will just stop this. This miner's currently been on for well, on and off for about uh, eleven hours, but I'll get more into that in just a moment. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stop it now, and then I can go over all the various details uh, with you. So it's a nice hash multi miner. You'll notice in. Let me just drag this window up a little bit. So this is the basic interface here. Obviously, uh, I started by running the benchmark. So I'll just show you that. So you've got start the benchmark I just understand the benchmark and what it does is it takes your uh, your processor your CPU and also any graphics cards in your machine and it benchmarks each one of them on various algorithms so you can see at the top here I've got the CPU and it tests those on a few different algorithms and see how it performs and then it tests my graphics card I've got a MSI GTX 970 so then it tests the graphics card as well as on the various algorithms, so X11, X13, and so on and so forth. And you can see the hash rate uh, that corresponds on the right-hand side there. Um, the other cool thing with this particular software is it also supports um, AMD uh, graphics cards as well. So you don't need a, a bunch of separate miners for, or a separate system for your, uh, or, or should I say separate softwares for each of your mining rigs. You can just use this one uh, simple software for, for multiple rigs, depending on you know uh, what graphics cards you got. So for example, with my uh, NVIDIA systems, you would normally use like CC miner. On the AMD uh, rigs, then you would have to use like CG miner, uh, sorry, SG miner and things like that. Uh, so this, is better because it's more of a, an all-in-one kind of package. So after you do the actual benchmark itself, you, you've got this kind of this secondary uh, window here, and it's got your devices uh, within it. Um, I've just in this is just my home computer, so I have the CPU, which is a Intel Core i7, and it's a 950. It's all overclocked to about 3.8, 3.9 gigahertz, uh, even though that's not doesn't actually say that there. And then there's the uh, GTX 970, so that's my graphics card there. So you've got those two devices, so they're my devices within that uh, main window. Um, up above, we've got my Bitcoin address, so this is the address that you're going to be mining to. Um, you don't need to register uh, with NiceHash or anything like that, you just enter your Bitcoin address and it mines. Um, I'll go into more details on that in just a moment, but basically it mines and it sends the actual payments directly to Bitcoin address So you don't need to register with them or anything like that. So it's quite good. And then you've just got your worker name So whatever your current rig is, I just use worker one two three four etc um, just so you can kind of keep track on your individual workers um, The other cool thing about this is it's a multi miner. So after your devices have been benchmarked uh, using nice hash its own sort of special software what it will do is it will have your computer uh, hashing in the most efficient way and there's lots of stuff that goes in, in the background there's basically a kind of a, a marketplace where buyers and sellers of uh, hashing power can kind of uh, integrate and what that means is that you're going to get the best possible returns for your hashing power um, and that the actual nice hash basically takes care of all of that for you so it's not very complicated what it means is that you don't have to be picking and choosing what alternate coins you're going to be mining on a daily basis the other cool thing about it is that you don't have to then uh, take those coins and then um, sell them on an exchange in in exchange for bitcoin and stuff like that it just means that you can look kind of hash on whatever algorithm it decides is the best for you and you automatically get paid out in bitcoin so i'm just going to start it up now um, you can see we've got both of both of the actual devices selected there. I'll just start that.
Let's just move this down just a little bit. Okay, so we've got the the C. The, so it's opened up two separate um, hashing windows, uh, one for each uh, device, or in this case, you know, because it's, I've got the CPU and a graphics card. If you had like multiple graphics cards, you just get the you know one window for your graphics cards. And so at the top, we've got the CPU miner, and that's uh, on the script chain algorithm, and it's currently hashing at 176 uh, hashes per second. Uh, the second window is for our graphics card, and that is mining Quark, um, and it's currently hashing at uh, 1625 uh, kilo hashes per second. And that information is also, if we just go back to the minor window, uh, it takes a little second to refresh, but you can see, so on this left hand side you've got CPU mining, you've got a hash rate and the algorithm, and you've got GPU mining, hash rate and algorithm there. Uh, further along on the right hand side you can see what that equates to or it tells you how many Bitcoin you're going to get per day uh, which is useful and it also gives you a dollar exchange amount as well so the dollars per day um, further down the bottom you've got this uh, global rate which is um, a total combined of you know all of your devices how much uh, Bitcoin you're going to get per day and also the dollar amount uh, per day uh, or further down to the bottom as well just slightly to the right You've got our uh, current Bitcoin balance and also what the uh, the US sort of uh, equivalent is as well there. So that's the basic, the main kind of uh, interface, uh, an overview of it all. What I'd also uh, show you as well is uh, we can show you our, it says check my stats online. So it will just show us our mining result, results over time. Um, it's just changed slightly. So this is for our uh, worker one, and then sorry, just uh, sorry for the uh, page bouncing around there. So you've got the algorithm, which is the script chain one. I've only just restarted this because I actually stopped CPU mining overnight, really because it's not very efficient. It's just burning electricity, and um, it's not really going to be profitable. So I did actually disable the CPU mining, um, but I'll just show you the uh, quark which is what I was mining with the uh, graphics card. So you can see that's a, a much more balanced uh, overall graph. So there's lots of uh, information on there. Um, in the background, you can kind of see the actual hash rate uh, bobbing along there. Um, the other part is this orange line is our unpaid balance. So you can see over time, like I said, it's been running for about uh, 11 hours now. Um, and that's sort of uh, picking up and giving us our current unpaid balance. Um, I couldn't actually find on the nice hash website what the minimum uh, payouts are. I think it's going to be they either do it either on a 24 hour basis or perhaps for every, I think the minimum payout might be like um, per thousand Bitcoin, something like that. So at the moment, we're just coming up to that per thousand sort of uh, level. So I, I expect we'll probably have a payout within the next um, 12 hours, something like that. I'll probably maybe add something in the actual comments of this uh, video to let you know when the actual first payout is. Um, but like I say, at the moment, it has only been for about 10 hours. So we haven't really earned very much income and um, it probably wouldn't be worthwhile of an actual Bitcoin payout um, at the moment. So that's basically it. I think that covers um, most of the various sort of um, aspects of it. So. Yeah, if you have any questions or comments, um, please let me know. So yeah, this is really good, uh, a really good all, overall uh, miner that you can use on all of your Windows systems, regardless of processor or graphics card. So that was kind of the point that I was trying to get to. It's just um, yeah, a good overall miner with a nice interface. So thanks for watching, guys. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Any questions or comments, drop those in the box below, and I'll be sure to get back for you. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.